This is an ayah about our relationship with our parents. وَاخْفِضْ لَهُمَا جَنَاحَ الذُّلِّ مِنَ الرحمة. Lower for them, for your mother and your father, lower for them the wings of humility. Allah added the word humility, we'll come back to that in a second. And do it out of love and mercy for them. مِنَ الرحمة. Now let's understand this a little bit, it's very powerful. When you were little, they took, did everything for you. When a bird is small, can it fly? No. The mother has to go and get all the food and bring it back to the nest for the chicks. Yes? Because the bird itself does not have what yet? Doesn't have wings yet. It can't fly on its own yet. It's completely dependent on the parents. Are we like that when we're babies? Absolutely. We are completely dependent on our parents. They clean us. They take us to the bathroom and clean us up. We burp on them, we throw up on their clothes, and they wipe that off and still give us a hug anyway. We cry over and over again, and they calm us down. They, we, they give us food, they give us drink, they protect us, they take us to the doctor, they give us medicine, they do all of it. All of it. Then we get older. Then now we're 20, we're 30, we're 40. And they get older too. And when they get older, they get weaker. But they don't just get weaker, they also get angrier. And they get also maybe hard to deal with for you. They get, they, get, they get annoyed very easily. It takes very little to agitate them. But now that you're 30, or you're 20, or you're 25, you have your own job. You have your own money. You have your own car. You have your own family. You have your own everything which means you can fly on your own. You can raise your wings, can't you? Allah says when you're dealing with them, I know you have wings, but you need to what? Lower them. And adhul actually means weakness. In other words, I know that you have powerful wings, but when you're with your parents, act like you don't have wings at all, like they don't work. So you don't tell your parents, you know dad, I'm an adult now. You can't talk to me like that anymore. You know, mother, I'm in college, okay? Someone saying that is raising their wings. Allah is saying, I got you. I know you got wings. I know. Put them down. The idea is that a bird can fly and it still chooses to stay down. It still chooses to stay down. Now, why should you do it? He says, min al rahmah Because of mercy. Because of mercy. Which actually means three things. I'll mention at least three things to you. One, you should have love and mercy for you. Love and care. Remember rahmah was love and care? Because of the love and care they showed you, this is time for you to show love and care. This is now, yes, they're annoying, and they're loud, and they get easily angry, and they argue with you, and they don't understand, and they still criticize. Why are you doing this? Why are you driving like that? Why are you sitting like that? Why did you buy that? Why are you moving over there? Why are you getting that apartment? Why did you get that job? Why are you getting married? Why you name your child that? Why, are you, why is your child going, going to that school? Why, 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 why? And you're like, I, don't, I can't have the time to explain to you, okay? Just let me live my life. You know? But you know what? A few years ago, when you were like this, and your mom said, okay, time to go to the bathroom, why? <laughs> time to eat, why? Get in the car, why? <laughs> why can't I have everything? Why do you hate me? Why do you, why do you, why do you? And you used to talk a lot. And they put up with you. What does Allah do? As the time goes by, Allah reverses the roles. He reverses the roles. And actually that's not just me making that up, it's in the Qur'an, the, re the role reversal. I'll explain to you in a second. The first meaning of min al rahma is the love and care they showed you. Because of that love and care, you should show them love and care. The second meaning of min al rahma is actually that you, the, 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 the genuinely are supposed to have love and care for your parents. And the true meaning of love and care will be when you're humble to them. You cannot raise your voice at your mother and then tell her, I love you. You know I love you, right mom? But sometimes you're just so bad. <laughs> like you know, yeah. You can't start with, I love you dad, but... Can't do that. The third meaning is the most powerful to me. 
You want Allah's rahmah, you better show them rahmah. You better humble your wings. You better clip your wings when you're dealing with your father and your mother. And Allah will sometimes test you by making your parents unusually agitating. He will make them say things that they will never say to anyone else, but they'll say them to you. And he will make them say things that are so utterly ridiculous that they will boil your blood and you will want to say, what are you talking about? And that will be the test from Allah on whether or not you lowered your wings.